Hi, my name is Joe and uh, I made a distiller. The uh, reason why I made a distiller was uh, to put uh, make gasoline actually. A lot of people use it to make moonshine. But the um, reason why I made it was, uh, yeah, I want to make some ethanol. And uh, we've got gas prices kind of going up. I thought, might as well give it a whirl, see what happens, right? Uh, formerly, I mean, you can use ethanol for a lot of different things. All you need to do is mix 15% of gasoline with ethanol and uh, you can use it just as normal. Um, regular gas is 14 to 1 ratio, ethanol is uh, 10 to 1. And um, basically how it is, is that uh, how it works, go to a wine shop, anywhere you can get like a, uh, get some information on how to make wine. And uh, all you need to get is some yeast and uh, start fermentation. Two weeks later, you get about 15% alcohol in there. And uh, once we get that done, um, two weeks later, you put the stuff in here that you did about um, for two weeks and uh, basically distill it. Now how this distiller works is pretty easy. Right now underneath I got a fire going on. Um, I have a heater which has about 320 BTUs of, uh, of heat that kind of, pardon me, 320,000 BTUs. And that heats up about 62 liters in here in about uh, 50 minutes. So what happens inside here is uh, my condenser, or pardon me, the column which the gases rise. So if you guys remember at all, um, water boils at about uh, 98 to 100 degrees Celsius. And uh, alcohol basically boils at about 78 point something Celsius. So those numbers, that those are the only numbers you basically need to know. And uh, right now, just today, we're distilling water. So what I have in here, the steam kind of rises up and inside this column I have uh, these kind of copper scrunchy things um, to clean up with. You can get these at Safeway or something like that. What that does, it helps condense the, um, the, uh, the vapor. The vapor comes up to here and right up here is my uh, thermometer and you can see that the water is boiling at about uh, 96 degrees Celsius. Not all um, thermometers are exact, so kind of do the math on that in 96, so shit, it's boiling right now. As the vapor comes across here, I have a condenser, and this whole thing is a condenser, basically taking that volume of, of uh, vapor and condensing it into water again. So up here, up here I got a, uh, a little valve just for a pressure relief valve. Once my uh, temperature goes to 78 degrees Celsius, I'm gonna close that and uh, close this valve here and open this one. Basically, you can see liquid coming out already. So what happens next is that this condenser, there's hot gases coming through here and there's a condenser. There's actually one more of these pipes in here and uh, what I got is I got a pump pumping cold water into that pipe inside there and it's pumping through here into this chamber inside, cooling the vapor down. And then the water comes out here all the way to this pump, which I, you can get a Princess Otter or whatever. And uh, that's how that works. The pump was about uh, $80 and uh, everything else. So once I close that valve, I close this valve and open this one. As the alcohol vapor is turning into uh, basically alcohol liquid, it comes out of here. And I put that onto there. So I put like a little bucket or something underneath there. Today is just uh, water and a brief demonstration on how this works. Uh, right now it's at about 96 degrees Celsius. And that's where the, the water is boiling. And uh, with alcohol, it basically is uh, 78 degrees Celsius. So you're kind of wondering, okay, well, how does that work? Once uh, it starts coming up to 78 degrees Celsius, what I do is I open my valves up. So I basically open my valves up, drains, drains all of the alcohol, and uh, once the temperature increases from 78 degrees Celsius to coming up to 90, then what I do is that I know that the alcohol is running out and it's 
more or less water vapor coming inside. I'll just shut off all my valves and uh, start from scratch. And uh, basically, it, that's how that works. In the end, uh, once I do have my alcohol, I uh, what I need to do is uh, the distiller has about 95% alcohol, and uh, I want to have 100% alcohol inside instead of water. What I did was go to Home Depot and get lime, and this lime stuff takes away um, the rest of the water. So what I do is I, I mix this into the 95% alcohol, and what that does is um, yeah, it basically absorbs the water but not the alcohol, so which then leaves me with 100% alcohol. Hopefully it works, we'll keep, keep positive and uh, we'll see how it goes.